Welcome everybody to another video. Uh, this one is on a Mitsubishi L200 Animal Edition. Uh, I did an afternoon's work on this, uh, this truck in the blazing sunshine, trying to get some decent results, and I think I got them in the end. Uh, just a general clean up, a clay, and some protection laid down thanks to Malco Products, and thanks to Malco Products and TDG and AM Details for some excellent products, as ever. If you like the video, please subscribe and don't forget to like and share and please put your comments under the video always welcome a uh, quick shout out to uh, forensic detailing channel on youtube uh, please give john a, um, a follow subscribe to his channel and check out all his videos they're very very good thanks john for the shout out i thought i'd do the same for you so enjoy the video guys i'll see you again all right so first things first there's no point in coming in here with a cleaner and today by the way we're using Malco's outrageously orange citrus cleaner very very strong uh, 25 ml in a litre bottle so should be ample for this job today so what we're going to do pressure washer this just get all this loose stuff off first just to make this a lot more effective Right, so after a quick rinse, to get rid of the worst off, take your uh, citrus pre-wash, your Malaco, outrageously orange, and just give it a good liberal spray all the way around the arch. Let it dwell for a bit, let it do its thing. Now, while it's dwelling, a few brushes we're going to use today. We've got an arch brush, just a cheap one, nice long handle to get in places like this. Then you've got an atlas to brush. We've got two here. We've got the stiffer one of the two, this one here, and the soft tip one here just to get into the, the rather more detailed parts and of course you can use your trusty EZ so let's just move this camera and just start by giving it a bit of a agitation good scrub purely a demo this Oh, the truck to do yet. Now, normally you do your wheels and arches sort of simultaneously, but obviously this is just a a bit of a demo to show you how good this stuff is. And then we're going to give this a dress after, and I'll show you the end results. Ah, one more brush, nearly forgot. Now trusty Vican with a nice soft tip. Now the reason for the bit on the end, obviously, if you're doing alloy wheels, so you don't scratch your wheels. In this case, we're not that worried. Commercial vehicle, so if around these wheel arches, you're not gonna do a lot of damage. All right, so we're gonna rinse that off. Right, this 
just move the camera in. And we can pick this up. That's just by using a citrus pre-wash. Nice and clean. Now once this is dried, we're gonna put a zest dressing from TDG on here, and that'll just keep it looking nice and fresh. As I say, with the big tires like this, once you get these cleaned, and some nice uh, tire shine on, nice tire gel, the darkness between this and this just creates a nice contrast and sort of fills it in. If you see a truck with, when all this is sort of covered in muck and greyness, it doesn't look very nice and this just develops a nice contrast. As opposed to a lowered car, you've got to do something with this, you can't just leave it. So I'm going to get on with the rest of the truck and then we'll come back to this. Okay, we've reached the uh, stage where this has been APC, truck's been washed, and we're slowly getting there. Uh, we, want to, we want to sort of dress these uh, arches and make them look pretty again. Now, at the moment, I've just put some tar remover on here because, I don't know if you can hear this, but this is all bitumen deposits flicked up from these big old chunky tyres. Now, most people probably think, well, it's only black, it's only the wheel arch here, why are you even bothering, Paul? Well, the simple reason is, is when you go and touch this with a microfiber pad or applicator pad, the applicator pad will basically disintegrate because it'll get caught up in all these bits here and it'll look bloody awful. So why not get rid of it? You've got this stuff here, get rid of it. So I've just soaked this in the tar remover, AM tar by the way. An old, not a brand new one, your old microfiber. And just get in there and work away at the tar and it will come off. Now once you've done that, Allow all the solvents to evaporate, make sure it's nice and dry, and then we're going to hit it with this stuff TDG Zest Dressing. So we've got our dressing, a little bit on an applicator pad, hasn't got to be a brand new one, obviously, so you're going under a wheel arch. Then just work it in. People say, well, why are you even bothering? Well, obviously it helps it keep it nice and black, but also this stuff repels water. So it acts as a good, almost like a wax, really. You can use this anywhere on the trims, wing mirrors, all your uh, black rubbers. Right, 